what's going on good people make sure you subscribe to the black contractors network channel below and hit that damn subscribe and like button so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward let's talk about why you didn't get the job or you lost out on the job even after you had a great interview being on the receiving end of a job rejection sucks it feels as though you've wasted your time even when you know you haven't and that's tough to swallow after getting your hopes up for nothing but there are some things you can do to lessen the likelihood of this happening the ones we'll be focusing on today are a little harder to learn from but if you keep them in mind they just might help land your dream job or at least stop it from slipping out of your grasp be careful of oversharing especially in an interview you may want to share the details of your personal life with the interviewer but it's not always necessary if you share information that doesn't relate to the job or could be considered inappropriate even if it isn't then you could get yourself into trouble on social media when you post something about yourself that could make people think less of your character or morals then there's a chance that whoever is reading it will think less of how they perceive you as an employee and hirer they might also think less of their business by hiring someone who has questionable morals and values as well as questionable taste in friends or family members they choose to hang out with online mind your social media posts to be honest this is the most obvious reason you were denied a job offer if the hiring manager googles you and finds the following the video of you saying racist things to your friends on snapchat your facebook post where you call a woman who's wearing too much makeup ugly even though she's your friend a tweet where you say that all men are scumbags and deserve to die in a nuclear war well then good luck explaining yourself to an hr rep as soon as they see those things which i'm sure are completely innocent they'll know that there's no way someone with such poor judgment could work for them for any length of time they'll jump to conclusions assumptions are the biggest mistake you can make when interviewing for a job most people assume that if they don't get the job it's because they aren't qualified for it or that their age is working against them in reality there could be many reasons why you lost out on getting your dream job you wore too much perfume or cologne you didn't know anything about the company or industry you were late for your interview even one minute there are things you should be aware of when interviewing they may not be obvious as a job seeker you want to be as prepared as possible for your interview there are several things that could affect the outcome and it's worth taking a look at how those factors fit into the bigger picture when preparing for an interview one of the main things to consider is what kind of impression you want to make on your potential employer the best way to do this is by making sure that your social media posts and other online content reflect positively on who you are and what kind of person they should hire if there's anything online that could jeopardize their opinion of you or your ability to perform well in a position such as pictures from parties where alcohol was present take it down before they see it it might also help if you cleaned up any previous posts that are less than professional having too many typos or grammatical errors is never good when trying out for something important like this in order to get the job you need to show that your skills are transferable otherwise employers won't be able to tell who they're hiring that means you have to provide examples of how your experience has already prepared you for the role at hand or why it will be easy for you to learn more about what's required in this new environment so if there's a specific software program listed as one of the requirements for the position mention that this is something with which you're familiar or could quickly pick up on as part of a few hours spent learning how best practices work within this kind of platform and any others even if you have a great interview these things can make a difference you may be the best candidate for the job but that doesn't mean you'll get it it's important to understand why so that you don't repeat the same mistakes in the future if you don't understand why and make those same mistakes again then your chances of getting another job will be even less because of your lack of understanding and experience i've heard from enough of my friends and clients who have had great interviews but still weren't chosen for the job if this has happened to you i'm sorry but here's the silver lining now you know what to look out for next time around we hope this video has given you some helpful tips on how to keep yourself from making these mistakes. Remember that in the end, it's your own success or failure, so don't let anyone else bring you down. And remember that success does not always equate to working longer hours. Please like and subscribe and share this video with anyone who might benefit from it.